when they claim they built or he built Lagos, tell them that before 1999, most multinationals already had their head office or headquarters in Lagos. Tell them that tallest building in Nigeria, the Nekom Tower, was already built and most skyscrapers on Lagos Marina were already standing. 99% of what we have in Lagos now were there before Tinubu came on board. And that is the a statement of a of a somebody who, who is a scammer. What you didn't do, you say you do it. But of course now they say oh, we built Lagos. Yes, let him build Nigeria. Nigeria under one year. Scattered. Scattered beyond repair. Well, people will still vote on 2027. Well, of course, they will still experience what they are experiencing. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Like they always say that election has consequences. The truth everyone must know. The builder of Lagos has failed to build Nigeria. The reality they failed to understand. Every APC member needs to convince his or herself that everything about him, it was all lies. Infrastructure was on ground. What about the economy? <laughs> Which economy? Which economy are you talking about? What the money they are collecting are the taxes they are collecting from the people that the money, the, all those money that are going into their own private pockets. What is the standard living of the people? Do Does the, Lagos have a portable water? Does Lagos have a road? Where are the infrastructure, the modern day infrastructure? All of these things that just uh, uh, Usaini Rufai was talking about. Usaini Rufai saying that say, all of these things have been there. Well, I'm not his fan, but cannot undermine the achievements in his eight years as governor, though he has his flaws like you and I. Is it a... What is the standard living of the people? No water, no electricity. What are we talking about? What are the modern day things that he, he was able to build? People are just living from hand to mouth. They are collecting money from the people. Hmm. Somebody say, oh, you never move on. Somebody is asking Uf Usain Rufai because Usain Rufai is the one who is telling us that uh, all of this is have been in place before this man caught him who came on board and one of his uh, agbadorian you know they will come and try to they can't defend anything now they say oh you never move on no this is no matter of whether somebody has moved on let us talk about the the statement of a uh, hussein rufai you need to argue it from a logical conclusion the hussein rufai lie with the statement of whether tinubu built lagos or all of those things were there before he came on board well, in as much I agree with your write-up, what was Lagos GDP that that time? I beg, think before you say. <laughs> when a trade eating deep into one inner mind, he sees any achievements of those he eats as nothing. Rufai, Rieti Daru. No, all of those is where Rufai talk. Make you talk and uh, say, now nah, live, you know, be live. Now you, they say, Rieti Daru. If now, nah, other people now, nah, you are the one that will first jump. Oh, they used to abuse people. Oh, when, once, once, this thing. The nonsense they do. Those are the things that they always try to attack other people or to blame on other people that that is the position of others. But that is exactly what they do. That is what they do. I still remember my 100 level in the university. We offered a course titled NPC, Nigerian Peoples and Culture. One of the topics taught in that course is the British annexation of Lagos in 1861. It was a topic on its own. Lagos is cosmopolitan and has as rich economy heritage the nearly told the nearly told us he built third mill bridge yes sir. <laughs> tell them to mention any project built between 1999 and 2007 and that was when he was the governor of the state suffering storm coming to nigeria hmm. everyone knows this fact the new lagos is the one that the IGR was enough to pay salaries without the receipt of FAC allocations in the new Lagos. The city is cleaner. Lagos has always been a rich state, so it was easy for him to increase the IGR via tax. But we should stop acting as if Lagos was in a dilapidated mood before Sinubu became governor of the city. Exactly my point, as if uh, the place was a desert, he just built everything. It's a lie now. They will still tell you that he's building Nigeria with all this nonsense happening. Oh, he's still building Nigeria. Federal government of Nigeria, LA, um, uh, what is this, okay? For, uh, if I cook them, okay, we cook them. 
he cooked them, he cooked them, he cooked them. I dare anyone to mention one single project successfully started and completed by Tinubu while he was a governor, a career criminal, and more. The truth will know his to hear. Yeah, they, they, they call themselves, they know. What are they, Ronu? They know, they know they think now. They are, when you talk about Ronu, Ronu is just to, to think or let us see. You know, it's, it's from the angle of bigotry. You ask ethnic bigotry. That is just when you tell you Ronu. Ronu means it's coming from the, it's not their Ronu to see the details and the importance of what is being done. But Ronu, mm, it has to be our side, you know. Our our own, our own, no. Turning, turning, tapis and tatum. That's what you'll be hearing from them. That is the meaning of that runu. That runu is not coming from the angle of openness and development. Too late. The man is already destroying the country. We warned and they called us names. His aunties today were not yet born then. One who built Lagos has used the same method to demolish Nigeria. As if we did economic development of east in when for tribal reasons he moved capital from calabar to enugu british advising against it saying calabar with ports ports would attract international trade to boost east entire economic like lagos did zig refused to listen hmm. lagos on lagos island was the federal capital not lagos state not lagos state the remaining 99 percent of lagos states belong to our lowest western region. These lies have been uncovered. Even the blind are seen that it is a fast lie. Can you brag about that dilapidated building to anyone outside Nigeria? Do you think all it takes to call a city beautiful is one on maintain skyscraper when you type it type it exposes your intelligence? They know all this. There's just a vi enthusiasm to chug this narrative that Tinubu built Lagos, when you counter them with fat, they tell you the modern Lagos was built by Tinubu. What the hell is modern in Lagos? There's nothing modern in Lagos. There's nothing modern in Lagos. Tell them the truth. He built nothing. I believe those who in support of this administration by now or by any means to make sure he becomes president will live to regret their decision. They are regretting it. Not they will continue to regret it. I think uh, one of them came out yesterday that uh, he was part of the people who were uh, forcing elderly people, beating elderly people up to just to vote for Tinumbu and today is crying. Apart from encouraging people to vote for him, that maybe you are, you are you know, getting the consequences of that which uh, you did or the mistake or whatever, but for you, for that person to raise his hand on elderly people, even if it's somebody that you even have power on, that you are even older than, for the fact that you made life unbearable for the person, you torture the person to do your own bidding, you will, you, you know, karma will visit you, not to talk of you coming out, one of the supporters coming out some days ago saying that, oh, he, he was part of the people that built elderly people to forcefully boost him, he will read, read the, uh, the consequences of that action. They all know this fact, but some of them are just brain dead because of the incentives they get from their lies and falsehood they spread. Mr. Rufai, that your powder brother has destroyed the cord that binds the nation. Anyone that associates with Obama, Bigates, and Macron are the senior disciples of Titan. Nigerians are in serious pain because of Chicago prison graduates. Maybe he is Yoruba finest. Mm. <laughs> uh, that's it. So, guys, let's say your opinion, and that's it on this.